Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. And today we have Disney's How Not to Draw. This is a series of shorts. They are literally two minutes long each. Uh, they don't even have credits at the end to, you know, stack up the time. Uh, it's, uh, the first one is like one minute long, featuring Cricket Green. Uh, and the rest are two minutes long, and they feature uh, a lot of the characters, you know, from various different Disney Channel, Disney Plus animated series. You'll get everything from, uh, of course, Mickey Mouse, Mickey and Minnie Mouse, uh, to uh, Big City Greens. We get uh, the Ghost of Molly McGee, which is, is in season three. There's only two seasons here so far. It is, in, uh, they're... Like I said, there's from 22, 20, 2022 to 23. Uh, there's only two seasons, and they're five and four episodes each. Um, uh, let's see. We have uh, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. We have uh, Dr. Doofenshmirtz from uh, uh, Phineas and Ferb. We, it, just a number of different things. This is actually not an, a, a learning type of series. It's not going to teach you how to draw these characters. Maybe the first few seconds, how to draw this line and that line and then draw the rest of the body and then it's all about the character interacting with the animator which is represented by two arms usually in the frame looking down on a piece of paper and the voice they provide as they interact with the voices of the characters you know and love from all the different shows and of course i was gonna first just gonna watch the first episode and then watch the one that it's Star Wars, so it's R2-D2. How to draw R2-D2? Well, I ended up watching all of them. <laughs> so I watched all nine episodes, like 17 minutes total. Um, and yeah, you get, it's a, it's, it's a pretty, you pretty get a pretty good round uh, selection of, of characters. And just, it's a comedy bit that puts r real world uh, animators uh, interacting with these characters we love. And one of the nice little bonuses that I get from watching the R2-D2 one is that it's not just R2-D2, uh, which they say is voiced by Ben Burt, who created the sound of R2-D2 and just about everything in Star Wars, for the most part, Ben Burt, uh, if you you hear a blaster sound, you hear a lightsaber, vroom, vroom, you hear the sound of the AT-ATs moving across the snow, you hear R2-D2's beeps and whistles, that is Ben Burt. From, the, from day one, from the very first Star Wars, he is the man behind all those things. And that man should have a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame if he doesn't already. I don't think he does. But uh, the man is a true artist. And that's, I know I'm getting side, <laughs> I'm getting uh, pulled off to the side on this, but it's, it's a, this is a really stacked deck uh, of artists and creators. But one of the great things I love this, other than the fact that we have Ben Burt providing, you know, beeps and whistles, uh, we also have Anthony Daniels appears as C-3PO. And the animator, the arms that uh, are interacting with these cartoon characters that get out of control, Mark Hamill. Yeah, Luke Skywalker himself. So he's no stranger to doing uh, voice work for animated series. He's the Joker. He's... Uh, Everything he's done, he's done a bunch of different characters over the years, uh, but he's not just Luke Skywalker. So uh, you, you'll you'll recognize tons of voices. Uh, Chris Diamantopoulos is Mickey Mouse. I know I said that wrong. Carrie Walgren. Uh, let's see. D. Bradley Baker is one of the animators. He's the voice of just about every clone, and uh, and uh, geez, the Bad Batch and everything else in Star Wars. Te Fred Tessier is Devil Dinosaur. Uh, oh, we get the the Proud Family. We get Tommy Davidson in there. Dan Povenmire does the voice of Doctor Doofenshmirtz, of course. Uh, we get just there's so many. April Winchell shows up, of course. Uh, Greg Griffin, uh, Ashley Birch is Molly McGee. That's again another another this, one of the season three episodes that are not on here yet. I think there's a total of thirteen. So we have that. Uh, there's probably another four episode season coming from what I saw. Oh, Carrie Payton and John Stamos are on here too. Also, uh, just it's it's it feels like this is. I mean, they didn't. They could have used anybody's arms and hands and just and voices, but uh, they make it really fun. Along with the animation, of course, which is always stellar, done in the style of the animation of the show that you're you're watching. So Moon Girl looks like she looks like in the show versus. Um, you know, the Mickey Mouse, the modern, most recent version of Mickey Mouse, and, you know, just everybody in between. So it's fantastic. 
Uh, it's lots of good, short, silly fun. Definitely check it out. Uh, if you have a love of Disney, you can pick and choose depending on the character you like, but I think you'd be well served just checking them all out and just having a good two minutes of fun with each one of them. You might discover a new character you don't even never seen before. You might want to check out their show. It's a nice little sampler. Let's pick tomorrow's episode. 118. Do not have to scroll far. 118. Okay. Missed a bunch of shorts there, just barely. But 118 is a documentary. I think it's a docu-series. Um, but it's it's uh somebody you recognize. Somebody you might know that isn't necessarily in the documentary game most of the time. Uh, we're going to be hanging out with Thor. This is going to be Limitless with Chris Hemsworth. So yeah. Limitless with Crims, Chris of Crims. Okay, just drop the tablet now. I'm Okay. <laughs> Limitless. No edits. Limitless with Chris Hemsworth on the next Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.